one. Look at what I got. Yes, they finally came in. I probably ordered these about, oh, a couple weeks ago, like the minute they came out. These are the NYX Macaroon Lippies. When I saw these on their Facebook page, I lost my mind. I may have squealed and jumped up and down just a little bit because I was that excited. Now, I'm a huge fan of color lipsticks. I have loved colored lipsticks since middle school when the only type that you could actually find were the thick waxy Halloween lipsticks. And I actually had a purple and a black and I wore them to school. And I got quite a few looks for it. But anyway, I haven't worn colored lipstick in years because it's so hard to find good quality colored lipsticks that aren't insanely expensive. So I am super, super happy to have gotten these. And they came in this cute little lace bag. I love this bag. I'm probably going to have to use this in my purse. But anyway, backstory aside, um, ooh. I also got this. This is a um, a lip liner in Nectar. This is really cute and it's really pretty too. Um, I did not order this. This was just sent to me. Look how pretty that color is. That's really nice. It was sent to me as a hey thank you for ordering thing which is really awesome because I only ordered like I think it came at like $30 for five lipsticks which is really really good these retail for about six dollars a piece which is right on par with the rest of the cost for nyx's products and i am over the moon about the quality of these um i only had application issues with one of them and i will let you know which one that is of course i only ordered five i know some people order the whole set I didn't because I knew I probably wouldn't wear all of them. I might order some of them later. Like I might order the black and the, I think it was Earl Grey, which is a real soft powdery blue gray. I might order those later, but I just wanted to get a small selection of the brightest colors just to get a feel for them see what the quality was like with the consistency, the wearability, and the pigmentation. I'm going to swatch these on my lips. I'm also going to have on my website, joannabrooks.net, I'm going to have photo swatches on there as well. So if you can't see it as well as you'd like to, you can go on there and check them out as well. So I'm going to start by wiping off what I have on now. I'm not going to be using a lip primer of any sort because so many people have different colored lips that if you have a very neutral shaded lip, then these will go on beautifully for you. However, I have naturally pretty, pretty um, berry shaded lips. They're pretty pink to begin with. So I want to show you guys how these are going to look if you just throw it in your purse and put it on. A lot of people don't have the time, the money, or the inclination to wear a lip primer to dull out their lip shade. But anyway, I'm going to start with number two. This is called Orange Blossom. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous creamy orange shade. It looks a little bit dull on camera compared to how it looks in real life. It is very, very bright. Put this on. Okay, so here's how this shade looks. I actually love this. I think it is incredibly wearable. It's beautiful and these do wear really well. Um, Without any eating or drinking, they last about two to three hours, which is really good actually for a colored lipstick. With eating and drinking, the time gets shortened, but it is really beautiful. And the orange does go great with pale skin tones. So I'm going to wipe this off and go to the next color. 
All right, the next shade I got was the only one I had a bit of an issue with. This one is Key Lime. It is a super, super bright neon green shade. It is really pretty, but the problem is when I apply it, it takes a lot of coats to get it even. Here's how this one looks. You can see I actually um, swiped this on multiple, multiple times, but you can still see a lot of my natural lip color and it's starting to settle in the creases. Also, I don't think this shade goes great with my skin tone, so I will probably reserve this one for Halloween looks. I don't think this one will be a daily wear lipstick. I don't know if it was like the pigmentation they used or something, but it just didn't work very well. Doesn't work very well for me. The the formulation of this one seems to go in a little bit differently than the others, and just. I don't like this one as much, which is really sad because I wanted to love this one. Alright, the next color I am going with is number 5. This is Violet. This is a pure bright purple. Um, and yes, I'm having middle school flashbacks right now, but this is gorgeous. It looks really, really pretty on. Here's how Violet looks. I think this is just a beautiful color. I think it will complement um, both lighter and darker skin tones, and I think it's also very, very wearable. Again, if you're going for a bright, bright lip like this, go more neutral on your eyes. Right now, I just have a champagne shade on my lid with a black cat eye liner, and it I think it balances really, really well. Um, this is just a gorgeous shade. It's very, very well pigmented, and this one doesn't settle on the lines of my lips, which is awesome. So I'm very, very pleased with this one, and I will definitely, definitely wear this out and about. In fact, I might even wear it to Target tonight when we go to grocery shopping just for fun. My lips are getting really, really pink from taking off and putting on all the lipstick. They're getting like brighter and brighter. They're probably going to be cherry red by the time I'm done. But the next shade is number four. This is Blue Velvet. This is just a gorgeous blue shade. I mean, it is just, it's stunning. It's actually hard to describe this color. It's almost like a, a light peacock blue color. And the formulation of this one, again, is very, very nice. And here's how Blue Velvet looks. I love this one. It is very rich, very creamy. Um, I think the color payoff is incredible. It's very, very bright and in your face. There's no doubt about that. But this one wears beautifully as well. I wore this one for about three hours yesterday, and I was just really, really impressed at it. I'm going to take this one off, and I have one more to do. The last one I am doing is number six. This is pistachio. This is a beautiful cross between a teal and seafoam green. Um, it looks slightly more blue on camera than it is. Um, it is very, very bright and very pigmented, though. And here's how pistachio looks. Um, I have to admit, I was really, really, really excited about this one. And when I'm actually wearing it, I'm a little on the fence about it. I mean, I really do like it. But I have sort of the same problem I do with Key Lime. In that it does want to settle in my lines and, you know fade out a little bit and I think that is just with the green pigmentation they added to it. I don't know whether there is a specific issue with the green pigmentation they used, but again, um, it is a very, very pretty shade. Again, I probably will wear this one out. I just won't wear it out to Anywhere where I can't have it handy to touch up. It might go on better with a lip primer. I'm not entirely sure on that. 
Sorry I'm talking so fast, my camera's trying to die, but um, all in all, I'm very, very, very pleased with these. Out of what I got, my f three favorite shades are the Orange Blossom, the Violet, and the Blue Velvet. They are definitely my favorite and what I would consider to be the most wearable. Well, the Pistachio and the Key Lime do have some wearability issues, but they are still very, very pretty shades. I hope this review was help for, helpful for you. If you want close-up photos of each shade, please go to my website, joannabrooks.net. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and you can also keep up with me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. I'm pretty much everywhere. All the links are below, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!